In this video, I will share a guide on how to turn off Battle Eye in GTA 5 Enhanced Edition and GTA 5 Legacy Edition. I will share four easy methods, and the first and the second method will be strictly for premium users only. But the other two methods can also be used by the free game users who got the game from the internet. The first two methods will work for all platform users, including Epic Games, Steam, and even the Rockstar Launcher. Method number one, manual battle eye control for premium users only. For that, you need to open your Rockstar Games Launcher and go to Settings. From here, you can simply uncheck this checkbox and then turn off your internet temporarily and play your game offline. This way, you can play the game in story mode without battle eye messing with your game files and mods. Just make sure to turn the battle eye back on when you want to play GTA Online. But a lot of people complained that this method does not work very well and sometimes the game still asks for battle eye when we launch the game. In any case, I will now share the next method, which should also help a lot of you. Method number two, blocking battle eye from Rockstar app for premium users only. So you just need to open your Rockstar Games launcher and go to settings. In settings, you need to click on the installed game you want to turn off battle eye. For example, I have GTA 5 enhanced, but you can also follow the same steps for GTA 5 Legacy, which is the original game. So click on your favorite game and scroll down to the very end of it where it says Launch Arguments. You need to click on this input box next to it and write the code on your screen. Once you do that, wait about 30 seconds on this same page and it will automatically save the changes we made. Now, all you have to do is play your game. In some cases, you may have to turn off your internet to make this feature work, or in some cases, you may even have to disable Battle Eye from the main settings page in the general section. Let's now move to more logical options. As promised, I will share two more methods. This next method, number three, I will share is only for those who got the game for free from the internet, and premium users should skip this option. But in method number four, I will share an easier method, and that one is for both premium and free users. Let's start with method number three. Users who downloaded the game from the internet, you guys will need to open your GTA 5 game folder. First, I will show you the enhanced folder. Then I will show you the original game version, which is now called the Legacy Edition. For GTA 5 Enhanced, open the game folder. Here are the directory locations of GTA 5 Enhanced. Once you are here, you need to scroll down and look for this exact file. If you do not have this file, I will leave a page where you can download it. Now right-click on it, and you will need to create a shortcut of this file. So you just need to send this file to desktop as a shortcut. Same for GTA 5 Legacy, you need to open your game directory folder. Here are the directory locations of GTA 5 Legacy. Once you are here, you need to scroll down and look for this exact file. If you do not have this file, I will leave a page where you can download it, check the video description. So you just need to send this file to desktop as a shortcut. All right, after you create your shortcut, you need to right click on the shortcut, go to properties, and here you will find the target section. From here, you need to go to the very end of this address and hit spacebar to create some space. Here we will put a small code. You need to write no battle I, and you need to write it exactly the way I wrote. You can also copy it from your screen. Once you do that, apply and save the changes. Now all you have to do is run your game and it should play without the battle eye problem. Method number four, fix for premium and free users. There is a very easy fix for premium users and free users. And for that, we will just use a popular mods pack, which will take care of your battle eye problem forever. And that mod pack is script hook V. Before I show you how to properly install this battle eye auto control feature, do keep in mind that if you have recently updated the game, you might have to wait a few days until script hook V is updated. And similarly, if you have an old version of the game, you will have to install the version which is compatible with your game version. You can watch this video on your screen to download the correct version for your game. Here is the script hook V I downloaded and I have my game directory on my left. Here are all the locations to access your game folder. Now open the script hook file, go to the bin folder, and from here, you only need this first file and this second last file. Copy them and paste them inside the game folder. Now whenever you play GTA 5 story mode, your battle eye will go off automatically, and when you play GTA Online, the battle eye will turn on. Do keep in mind guys, some mod packs may not be fully compatible with script hook V. They can override script hook V, but that is very rare so you have nothing to be worried about. But if that does happen, you just need to check whether the mod pack you installed is compatible with script hook V or not. All right, guys, these were the solutions. If you have a question, feel free to write in the comment section. And I also request you guys to join membership on my channel as this will not only support the channel, you will also get access to a few of my premium videos. I will be posting new cool videos soon for my members. Leave a like, subscribe, and join the channel to show your support. I've got an itch I can't scratch. I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part
out of me and open wounds start to see. Everybody come here, gather round. Welcome to the freak show, the best in town.